Alright, we're going to compare CSS and JavaScript animations. We're going to learn when you should use it, uh, when to use JavaScript versus CSS animations, what are the performance considerations, all those things in this video. So in the first example, you can see that I'm animating the CSS logo with just CSS. And CSS just needs this too many lines of code to animate this logo. So CSS animations are like uh, declarative animations you provide the initial state and the final state so here on zero percent time i'm giving one state on 50 percent one state and on 100 percent time i'm giving another state and that's why it is very easy to write because you don't have to maintain each frame you just provide initial state and the final state and the browser will figure out how to transition to those states now also you can find that uh, we don't have much control over the animations and that is the drawbacks of CSS animations because we only have control over the initial and the final state but the in between if something changes like suppose I'm clicking on the uh, logo or doing something else those things cannot be con cannot be considered in the CSS animations so what is the right place to use uh, CSS animations mostly if the animation is very quick like within 100 millisecond your animation is going to complete in those cases uh, interactivity doesn't matter right because in 100 millisecond time user is not going to click on the logo or something like that so in those cases CSS animations are fine you can use that but if you need some complicated examples like this so in this example my mouse pointer is tracking the JS logo and also you can see that uh, you can see some uh, spring like animations right this is very difficult to achieve with CSS because uh, you cannot define any initial or final state it is always changing i'm changing the mouse position all the time so in that case javascript animation is the only choice you have so if you check the code for the javascript animations there's a lot of code i'm not going to explain all this uh maybe in some other video let me know in the comments okay so in this animation loop there is one loop you actually have to write some code for javascript animations so this animation loop is going to be called in each frame so if you are using a 60 hertz screen then every 16 millisecond uh, this uh, animation loop is going to be called and here i'm getting the time difference in millisecond and then i'm calculating the acceleration the velocity all those physics calculations and finally i'm setting the position of the logo okay and also you can see that I have much more control with it. I can control the animation in my in any way possible because I have control over every frame of the animation, right? So yeah, if you need more control, then always go for the JavaScript animations. But also it comes with a cost that, you know, JavaScript is single thread language. And if you spend more time in this animation loop, your program will run slower. So let's do some performance uh, analysis also okay first i'm opening the css one css example uh, in this example if i go to performance tab and just record the performance for some time then i'm going to check one frame just one frame see this is one frame one sing uh, single 60 millisecond frame because i am on a 60 hertz screen you can see that there is no javascript running here so that is a good point the css animations are not blocking your javascript runtime so you can run any javascript code and uh, that will not be affected with the css animation but if i go back to the js animations and i'm going to do some performance analysis and stop just check one frame just one frame you can see that there is some javascript running here in the yellow portion is the javascript so here the animation frame is fired and um the my function is getting called but uh, to see it in more detail i'm going to slow down the cpu a little bit okay now you can see in one 16 millisecond frame you can find some javascript is running actually this code is really optimized so even after 6x slowdown is running very fast but still it is blocking the javascript frame if you do more work 
then in that time javascript javascript uh, thread will be blocked so we have to consider that so these are the basic differences between css and javascript animations if you have any questions please ask in the comment section i'll also make on detailed video about uh, the animations performance and how to achieve animations like this this is really running really fast right and uh, please hit like if you liked it